For the past two years, Park Sodon has been fighting a tough battle against cancer, and despite staying strong, she hasn't had the easiest time. Back in December of 2021, some very sad news regarding Park Sodom's health hit the internet. Everything seemed to be going well for her, especially after the huge hit the movie Parasite became, but it all changed after a regular doctor's visit. It was the 13th of December when her agency shared that Sodom was diagnosed with papillary thyroid cancer. The diagnosis came as a shock to many, including Sodom herself, since no one expected such an outcome from just a regular checkup. In their statement, artist company did not specify when exactly the diagnosis had taken place, nor did they reveal any other details about the process. What they did share is that Soldam had immediately undergone surgery, since this was deemed necessary by the medical specialists. It's safe to say that the shocking news turned her world upside down, especially considering the amount of projects she had lined up. One of these projects was her upcoming movie Special Cargo, in which which she played the lead role. In the same statement, her agency shared that due to the circumstances, Soldam unfortunately wouldn't be able to attend any of the promotional activities for this movie. They explained that she felt extremely defeated by the fact that she wouldn't be able to join the cast in these activities. Most importantly, she was very disappointed that she couldn't get together with the fans who supported her throughout her journey and were waiting to see her. Despite not being able to be there for the promotions, Soldam made sure to remind everyone to stay enthusiastic for the premiere of the movie. Her agency then revealed that her top priority at the time was her health and recovery. They explained that in order for her to come back in the future and greet everyone in good health, she had to take a step back from all activities. Additionally, artist companies said that they would do anything in their power to help Soldam make a quick recovery. In an interview she gave shortly after the release of Special Cargo, Soldam opened up a little bit about her health before and after her diagnosis. Sometime before the premiere of the movie, she underwent surgery. Soldam shared that she had been recovering covering well ever since, but the battle was tough nonetheless. She expressed that it was quite hard to wrap her head around everything and said, When I found out about my health condition, I was both shocked and scared. However, her diagnosis also made her acknowledge the importance of her own health even more. She explained she had time to take a step back and analyze what it would take for her to take care of herself better to return even healthier. She also expressed that she became more aware of how important her health is in her particular field of work and that if her health deteriorates, this would have consequences consequences. Throughout the interview, Soldam also touched up on the fact that her health wasn't always the best throughout the years. In Special Cargo, she plays a getaway driver, which means that she had to be active in quite a few scenes. There were a lot of intense action choreographies and car scenes that had to be completed, for which a lot of practice was required. Soldam explained that she had a trainer specifically for the martial arts scenes, who she had to train with two or three times a week for about three months straight. Additionally, she did a lot of training with her stunt double, so all the scenes would turn out as flawlessly as possible. Soldam was already struggling quite a bit when filming for Special Cargo, but this had little to do with her diagnosis and was actually caused by health complications she had in the past. In the interview, she said, Honestly, it was a big challenge for me because I had a car accident a few years ago. On top of that, being in cars became mentally challenging for her. There were even times that just stepping into a car to drive it became too much of an overwhelming task for her. Even harder for Soldam was the shooting of her movie Fan Phantom. Although the movie was set to release on the 18th of January of this year, the filming happened at the end of 2021, right before she was diagnosed. Soldam had one of the lead roles in the movie, meaning that there was a lot of work for her to do, but as time progressed, she started to feel weaker and weaker. In an interview for the movie, Soldam confessed that noticing that her health was deteriorating while filming made her feel really anxious. She shared, While filming, I didn't know why my body was in pain. I just thought it was burnout. It was the first time I felt afraid to go on set. She expressed that she was in a very dark place, believing that her body was reacting to her bad mental health. However, she said that it might have just been her body sending her a signal that something was wrong. Soldam elaborated that she felt that she needed to apologize to both the directors and her seniors. Things were so tough on her that she even cried because she felt so bad for everyone that had to see her in such a state. Because of her declining health, the excitement she had to see the finished product quickly turned into dread. Soldam explained that the situation had her in such a bad mental place that she was afraid to watch the film. All the struggles she experienced while filming made her believe that the movie wouldn't turn out as great as she had hoped. However, the director made sure to reassure her and told her that he doesn't easily approve of things, so she should trust him. In the interview, Soldam revealed that she was even working while she was already undergoing examinations. While waiting for the results to come back, she completed her voice recordings for the movie. This was the time at which her health was at its worst. She shared, I was in a bad state to the point 
point where I almost lost my voice, so if I was just a little bit late, I almost would have been unable to do the recordings. Fortunately, her current health status is a lot better than it used to be back then. Soldam shared that her health has recovered for the most part, but there are still some ups and downs every now and then. She elaborated that her skin had been suffering a great deal ever since she started treatment. Due to a hormonal imbalance, it's hard for her skin condition to stay consistent. She also explained that attempts to be even healthier, such as regularly attending Pilates classes, have made her rediscover her body and its optimal flow. She noticed that her body hasn't regained the stamina it used to have, but considering what her condition was like a year ago, she is very happy with the progress that she's made. She further revealed that recovering isn't only a physical process, it also changes you mentally. For instance, she shared that although none of this had to happen to her, it did make her realize how important it was to take a rest every now and then. She added, My past self only moved forward for my projects without investing any time in myself. I didn't think about how human Pak Soldam could live healthily. These types of thoughts inspired her to finally treat herself, so she decided to go on a solo trip to fully relax. Soldam explained that it was scary at first since she had never done something like this by herself. She thought to herself, I really don't know how to do anything besides acting. In the end, the experience was better than she had imagined, and she revealed that she was so fascinated by the fact that foreigners recognized her. This even stimulated her to live better in the future. The bottom line is that Soldam recognized how important it was for her to reflect on herself. She acknowledged that she didn't know how to take things easily, and that from now on, she will stop to ask herself if she's really okay and feels well enough to continue doing what she loves the most. Soldam's hard work and continuous fight was also recognized during a recent press conference for Phantom, since it was a very emotional day for everyone involved. She explained that the day was filled with tears because of her, since her condition when they were shooting the movie was a lot worse than it was now. Being able to reflect on the long way they came together was really special. She explained that everyone who was involved in the making of Phantom found out about the fact that she was sick later on. They had to witness in real time how her physical strength started declining and how her battle became more and more emotionally challenging with each day. Because of this, the press conference marked a special moment for her. It was the first time everyone got together in front of the reporters. They watched what they had created together right before the actual premiere of the movie. Soldam revealed that she just couldn't hold it together anymore and the tears were falling, but these weren't tears of sadness. On the contrary, she felt so extremely grateful to be able to be there with everyone on that special day. She said, Thinking of this time last year, I was so happy and thankful that I could now greet everyone with my own voice, referring to all the promotional activities she had to miss in the past due to her illness. At the end, she very happily announced that she's been feeling a lot better now and that the support from her fans helped her a lot throughout these hard times. Soldam assured her fans by saying that moving forward, she will make sure to only present the healthiest version of herself. That was all on Puck Soldam's battle with cancer. Make sure to share your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching. Bye.